what I've really enjoyed over my career was seeing the development of the Conservation Authority. Kawartha was my baby, so to speak, coming to it as their first manager to uh, develop it and to see it grow. And its growth has been, given me a lot of satisfaction. I uh, was uh, intimately involved with the development of education programs with school children, with stewardship programs on private lands, monitoring programs uh, across the watershed for water flow and water quality. Uh, recent years, groundwater, of course, and just to see all of the programs and all of the staff that I was privileged to work with, uh, their development, too, has given me a great deal of satisfaction. I think my forte was building relationships and building relationships amongst staff and recruiting really good people and nurturing them along, being a mentor to uh, my staff, considering myself as, as not the CAO of the Conservation Authority, but just as a staff member of the Conservation Authority equal to all other staff members. I had staff that were a lot smarter than I am, and I allowed them to do the work that they do best and encouraged them in that, and, and that was my role, I felt, as their leader. I always thought that, yes, we can do good things, we have done good things, we will do good things, and there was never a sense of we are going to uh, not succeed. It was just a matter of uh, we have to put in sufficient effort in order to succeed, and we, uh, we always were able to uh, do so. One of the things throughout my career, um, I, I was always able to have fun with the people that I worked with, uh, and that in itself made it enjoyable, uh, but it also made everybody want to work a little bit harder because uh, we weren't just co-workers uh, and teammates, we were, uh, we were friends and supporters and, and uh, boosters of one another. I'm always hopeful uh, for the environment. I think we've got great opportunities uh, today. I've seen a number of cycles uh, throughout my career where the environmental agenda uh, has dropped off the radar screen in many quarters, but then uh, looped back and come on strong. So I think there's always going to be an, uh, opportunities for environmental leadership and for environmental management. And I think the work that we are doing, I think the recognition of the significance of looking after the natural world, of, of the conservation authorities throughout Ontario, is uh, increasing uh, every, every generation. And uh, consequently, I'm, I'm very optimistic that the uh, the management of our, our lakes and, and rivers uh, will be successful and that there will be um, many th good things done in terms of conservation in the, in the years ahead. But it's also the many people uh, that we've touched over the years uh, with our programming from school children that have come up to me uh, 10 or 12 years after they went through our education programs and said, you know, I remember coming out to this conservation area as a, a kid, uh, and uh, it made me choose the path of my career that I am now doing. And it's, it's also mentoring some of the younger folks that have come through our, our staff at the Conservation Authority, watching their career paths uh, grow. Uh, that's given me a great deal of satisfaction, uh, and I think those are the highlights of my career. <laughs>